so what I you wrote a couple of papers right in mm. 2013 and then again, another one in 2015 mm. where you talked about program theory of aging as opposed to uh, accumulated wear damage wear and tear yeah. accumulated damage which yeah. you know so we've talked to Dr. De Grey and Dr. De Grey is definitely accumulated damage right oh uh, absolutely that, that's we've, we've had arguments for months uh, me and Aubrey De Grey <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, and so I read the paper and, and I find it, yeah, it's really kind of interesting and, and kind of compelling. Um, so could it's you. It's true. That's why. And yeah. it works. That's even, even better proof. Right. So <laughs> could you explain a little bit about that? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Pardon me. Let me, let me adjust the screen downwards so I can, I can yeah. sit in, in, in a, a relaxed position. Um, contemplative position. So for some reason, and I don't want to go into all the reasons, the historical reasons, the idea of group selection and evolution was, was eliminated. And because of that, according to me in any case, hmm. evolutionary theory became a parlor game where you could figure out how a process that seems so predetermined is yet somehow random and stochastic mm -hmm. and people invented all kinds of, uh, of, of like medawar for instance all kinds of theories that for instance there's somewhere in our genome there's a, a gene that uh, that that kills us when we're we're old and the body doesn't eliminate it because it occurs past reproductive age so the body doesn't care about it. Uh, evolution doesn't care about it. That, that, that was his idea. The mm. basic idea is we grow up, we become adults, and then we start falling apart. That's, that's, that's the wear and tear hypothesis. I say no. It's very obvious that lifespans are fixed. I mean, you have a maximum lifespan, you have an average lifespan, they're actually proportional to each other. But, you know, a man may live to 120 years, but he won't live to 200 years. And a, and a dog may live to, 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 to 20 years, but, but won't live to 30 years. You know what I'm saying? There's yeah. a, it's limits to lifespan. And in the old days, they used to figure out, well, uh, mice have this repair endonuclease, it's not nearly as good as a human endonuclease. That's why they only live two years instead of, uh, you know, 80 years. Mm. But that's not true. Fact of the matter is, your age and your death are programmed in. Your body, for instance, stops making you know, it stops making certain enzymes. You could consider this, for instance, chance, result of random mutations. But it's always the same enzymes, and it's only those enzymes, and it occurs in most living creatures. It's, it's usually tissue specific, but there are, there are general, for instance, uh, um, Steve Horvath just made a clock that, for instance, will get the age of every mammal. Mm. Yeah, so, and, and because a young mouse at, at uh, let's say, six months of age is the same as a 17-year-old man, is the same as a 150-year-old, uh, uh, what do they call them, Greenland shark. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so does this go all the way back to, like, yeast and flies? Do, do, do we see the same mechanism at work? We actually do. We actually do. They have an immature period. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know about yeast. I'm not, a, right. I'm not, I'm not an expert on yeast, but let's go back to, uh, for instance, C. elegans, the round mm. worm. Yeah. That's, 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 uh, they, um, they have an immature period. They have a young adult period where they mate and they fertilize, and they have a post-reproductive period, uh, very much like a, a normal human woman might might have. So, uh, yeah, they're they're even paramecia. 
even paramecia, for when paramecia first conjugate and they form new paramecia, the new paramecia cannot mate for the next 40 generations, 40 cell divisions, mm. then they're capable of mating. So they even too have an immature period. And, and you'll find that in all mammals, you can relate total lifespan, either, either average or maximum lifespan to, uh, to age at sexual maturity. So if you take a, age at sexual maturity and throw it into a little computer, depending on whether it's a mammal or a, or a bird, or birds are, are the longest lived for their uh, compared to their uh, time of sexual maturity. But you'll, you'll be able to predict, you know, how long a creature will live based on, on the time of sexual maturity. Now, I'd like to go into more detail. Actually, I'm writing a book on it right now. Um, but basically, it seems to work like this. There's a basic timer. And I think that timer is the circadian clock. Mm. And that, that timer sets the pace of life. The shape of life is almost identical in all organisms. Right. But the pace of life differs from, from the mouse to, to, to the man. And that's really what Steve's clocks show, that you see the same stages. So I'm... I'm my idea of aging is not aging whatsoever. It's just a continuation of, of development, but your development includes your eventual, your eventual mm -hmm. outage or uh, right. uh, replacement by your uh, more evolved uh, offspring. Right. And, and that would be why, so that would be the evolutionary kind of, purpose behind this so that yeah really so that you I, I imagine a... I was thinking about it actually I was, I was wondering if maybe aging itself uh didn't give a competitive advantage to 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 certain organisms that in spite of their age would continue to reproduce etc in spite of you know the intense competition for reproduction among among most animals uh, an animal that was aged and still was strong and, and virile would uh, improve the species, as it were. Yes. Yeah, I tried to think about that. But, I mean, it seems to make sense that if you have more generations, yeah, I mean, who knows? <laughs> you would evolve quicker. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I mean, because we, we, we were looking at, uh, if you know what Dr. Sebastiano is doing, but, but I guess he's using the, the Yamanaka factors. Basically, it's just the same idea. Uh, yeah. th th this will perhaps surprise you, but, uh, but we found that a lot of the genes necessary to mobilize uh, uh, the so-called pioneer transcription factors, the uh, genes necessary to mobilize other genes are particularly affected by our elixir. Right. That's interesting. interesting. I think we use nature's way of, of programming cells. When you just throw in Gamanaka factors, you know, now I, I believe that David Sinclair has, has, has suddenly realized, seen light, and he just tried Yamanaka factors. He tried them uh, OKSM without the S because he thinks the S causes uh, teratomas. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. I, but I think he's seen the light that, that, that age is a mutable process that you, biological time is reversible that mm. uh, that that the best of all possible anti-aging which would be a return to youth is actually probably the only possible one i think all the other therapies pardon, pardon me if i'm stepping on toes here but I think all the other therapies help to, to quell cellular aging. And cellular aging, I think, is, is, uh, is one of the, the timers or drivers for, for organismic aging. So they slow down the aging process. 
Mm. But they slow it down proportionately in all phases. So if you were to start it in youth, you might have a longer youth and a longer middle age, and you'll have a longer late, uh, you know, senescence as well. Most people start in their senescence, so all they do is increase their senescence. But if you could actually reverse their age, that would be quite a difference. Yes, and, and I think, yeah, I, I think that, I mean, even Dr. De Grey says that, you know, rejuvenation is the only thing. It's, um, and, but it's staying alive long enough to get there <laughs> is one of yeah. the things that- um, Well, I, I, you know, I suspect I will be one of the first people to use it. <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> no, I mean that 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 absolutely makes sense. I mean, I could see that that would be something you would want to do. Yeah, I'm a, a valuable corporate asset. <laughs> so, <laughs> so could you talk? So you said you were working on a book. Um, yeah. Do you actually, have? I'm working on the first three right. Your first. So when do you expect to publish that? I mean, well, I want to have uh, I want to have confirmatory data before I okay. publish it. And once I do, it can go out immediately. We're just about done. It will be done in a day or two. Oh, OK. Excellent. Um, so the, but the confirmatory data will be in in animal models or in humans? Yes, in animal, animal models. models. Okay. But diff different than rats. But different than rats. Yeah. Okay. Dog, dogs and monkeys. No, it will be OK, right. Because it's, I was just thinking about the time scale that could be some sometimes. Yeah, that is, we're talking about a year maximum. About a year maximum. OK, well, that would be really interesting. Um, yeah. And I'd love to give that a read. Well, you know where to find me. <laughs> so yeah. uh, so when uh, it happens. I'll remember you, Richard. Richard, I'll, I'll watch out for this book, and then I don't know. Maybe we can we can have another chat when you when it's published. That would be really good. Yeah, yeah. I think you'd find it interesting. It's it's it's, it's a little more than scientific. It's a little little mythology, a little personal history, a little science. I think I think it's interesting. Excellent. You know, we'll find out. <laughs> That, yeah, that will be really interesting. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. Okay. Uh, Harold, thank you so much for your time. That was uh, really interesting. And, uh, thank you. you know, I look forward to hearing more of this. It's really exciting. I think it's very exciting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Have okay. a good night. Have a good flight. Have a good time in California. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thanks. <laughs> all right. Bye. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you found the video informative. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for notifications of new releases. It encourages us to continue to create more videos about anti-aging and extending healthy lifespan. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.